away, it's Great Math Suits. Mr. Lawrence here, and we're continuing our discussion of functions. Remember that a function is a relation or a rule that assigns each input to no more than one output. Now, there's a really easy way to tell if something is a function if it's graphed. Oftentimes, relations are graphed. You've graphed things before, right? Well, the real easy way to tell is called the vertical line test. You hold a vertical line up, something like a pencil to model a vertical line, your finger, a ruler, you got to make it go vertical. Yes, that's up and down. We've got to learn the difference between vertical and horizontal. Guys, we're almost in high school. But, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, I don't know how to undo it. Let me pause the video as I try to figure it out. All right, I think I figured it out. So, we're going to run this pencil here, you see. I'm going to run it, and if it touches more than one point at a time that means the relation fails the vertical line test and we do not have a function on our hands because the input are the x coordinates and so wherever the pencil is at the x coordinate is the input the output are the y coordinates so if it's touching two points at the same x value then we will not have a function, only a relation. For Place example, the watch the this pencil move. move it to the right, across the graph. If for each input value, if right there, do you see it? Do you see it? It's at negative 3, right? This is the point negative 3, 0. So negative 3 is going to 0. So um, let me see here. Dylan is going to McDonald's right here. But... Dylan is supposed to be going to the Pomeroy house at the same time. This is not functional. It, to not be a function, it only has to fail the vertical line test once. This particular relation will fail it uh, three times, I think. Let's see. Through exactly one point on the right there! Do you see it? Oh my gosh! The pencil is touching two points at the same time. It's failing the vertical line test. Ooh, I see another set. It's actually going to fail four times. I'm going to let it run. You see if you can find them. The graph then the graph represents a function. Remember to keep the pencil vertical at all times as you move it across the graph. Did you see them? Did you see them? They were, let me see, I don't know if it'll let me back up. Oh yeah, it will, cool, I feel powerful. It's failing here, which we already know. You're like, Mr. Lawrence is not touching the pencil. Well yeah, but the pencil represents a vertical line and vertical lines go forever. Fails it right there, fails it there, oh my goodness. And it fails it there as well. But it only has to fail one time to not be a function. So, to determine if these are um, functions or not, you can take your own, this isn't right, I need a vertical line. There we go. You could do this on your own though, don't, you don't have to watch me do it. You can pause the video and get a pencil and or your finger or anything else vertical and you can see if it fails, all right? Here, here come my solutions. Do, 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 do. Definitely a function. Never hit the line more than once. Okay, coming along here, it's hitting up one point, hitting one point, hitting one point, hitting one point. Uh oh, it's hitting two points. It is not a function, it's only a relation right there. Yes, right there. How about this one? This is actually an absolute value graph. Let's see, is it hitting more than once at any place? No, it is not. These are all functions. Yes, that's the vertical line test. Very, very useful. All right. Uh, did I already do part three? No, I didn't, did I? Silly Mr. Lawrence, but that's okay. They want to know if these input-output tables represent functions or not. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure out, are they a function or are they only a relation? Remember, no input can go to more than one output. So, here come my solutions. A has one going to three, but one is also going to two. It is not a function, it is only a relation. B has negative three going to negative five, negative two going to negative five, negative one. So this is like four different people going to the same restaurant. Is that possible? It sure is. This is a function. B is a function. And C, zero goes to 12, one goes to 14, two goes to 16, three goes to 18. This is a function. There is no input going to more than one output. All right, guys, that's it for the video. If you haven't finished digit seven one, that's your homework for tonight. 
Okay, if you've already finished it, want to try to do it again to improve your score, that's awesome. If you got a good enough score already, good for you. Mr. Lawrence signing off. Have a good night, everybody.